Let's talk about annuities. Uh, now, we take no position on whether annuities are appropriate for clients, as clients must decide this themselves. There are good annuities and there are bad annuities. Uh, annuities are uh, insurance products that provide a fixed income stream. They are highly customizable. They are tax deferred. They protect against losing your initial investment. Uh, the options to transfer money to your beneficiaries uh, they are often used as part of retirement plans, uh, and they are asset protected in Texas. Uh, so annuities are an insurance contract that involves three different parties. First, you have the annuitant, and that's the individual uh, whose life is used uh, to measure the length of the annuity. Next, you have the owner of the annuity, uh, and then you have the beneficiary of the annuity. And you can't change the annuity. That's not possible. But you can change the owner of a non-qualified annuity. You don't do that on a qualified annuity, but you can do it on a non-qualified annuity. Uh, you can also change the beneficiary. So to align your annuity with your trust, you need to execute a change of beneficiary form, uh, naming the trust as the beneficiary. And you also want to change the ownership by doing a change of ownership form. Uh, I mean, some companies I'll have a form that will accomplish both. Other companies will require you to use two separate forms. Uh, again, you do not transfer qualified annuities as that is a taxable event. The annuity may request some pages uh, from your trust. They will typically require uh, the first page, uh, and then they will require the signature page. Uh, and they'll require the page that uh, shows who your successor trustees are that would have access to the trust. Uh, and they may need the pages that show your trustee actually has authority uh, to deal with insurance transactions in Texas. Once you fill out the change forms, make a copy of those change forms and keep them in your trust binder. Uh, and then once the annuity company has completed the transaction, ask them for confirmation that the transaction has taken place and keep a copy of that confirmation in your trust binder. Uh, to, to align qualified annuities with your estate plan, uh, please see our section on qualified retirement 